Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea from Stereo APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be working with the CMU Sphinx. It's from Carnegie Mellon University. Sphinx is the uh, speech recognition library. I did a set of tutorials uh, two, three years ago, uh, but I, some of them, are, some of it is still very actual, but some of it's being a little bit dated for certain of the links. So that's why I'm doing this tutorial on the Odroid N2. If you know the Odroid N2, you know that it's, uh, it's a very powerful machine. In the last tutorial, I'll show you how to, to do the whole thing and, and put a Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu Mate desktop on it. And that's exactly what I'm using right now. What I'm using right now, I'm using the Ethernet, HDMI, I got a hub connected, I got a, a wireless keyboard and mouse, I have my camera connected to this one, and the microphone that I'm using right now to speak to you, and the power. So I'm using everything on that side of the board as we speak to do these, uh, these tutorials. So you can see it's very powerful at a very good price. So let's uh in order to work with uh, the, the cmu sphinx the easiest way at first is to show you how to build a language model and then we can build from there in order to build a language model and to test it which that's what we will do in the first two tutorials i have to show you how to download and build sphinx base and then in the next tutorial probably i'll show you how to do uh packet sphinx so let's do let's in order that's what we're going to be doing building a language model but I, i'm going to show you it's uh, walk you step by step the first thing you need to do is and i'm going to minimize this you need uh, i'm going to use this one it might be easier for you to see if I use uh, a darker terminal and uh, the first thing you need to do is is create a directory called where we're gonna put all the our, all of our stuff so we're gonna create a directory called speech recognition and in that directory we're going to create a file and that file is called corpus text um, you can put anything you want in that file the what i did in mine is i just put a lot of uh, some words from a song uh and you know you can do anything i mean you can play around i usually like to use songs because they're they're words that i that i'm not just gonna come up with out of you know the top of my head so they're different they're you know there's a little it's a song by the by the smiths and uh, that's what i'm using right now so this file is called corpus text and then what we need to do is use the lm tool the language model tool from cmu in order to uh, upload that file and it's going to create a, an lm a language model file and it's going to create a vocab file and it's going to create a dictionary so let me show you how we can we're going to do that we're going to go here and we're going to go to this is the um, lm tool sphinx knowledge base tool version 3 is the lm tool sometimes this this uh for some reason it uh it doesn't work all the time so so just you know sometimes you gotta have, uh, hit compile what we're gonna do is browse to where you have your file and mine is already there and you're gonna open it and it's going to upload it and then once it is uploaded you do compile knowledge base and then hopefully here it works sometimes this time it worked right away so it's gonna give you a base name tar so sometimes you have to hit it a few times and go back to it and sometimes it's you know it's 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 a little bit dated but it works it works great so that's my remember that number because you're going to be using that number and it's going to download 
uh, tar with the name of the base name on it and it's a TGC file so what you do is you hit enter to get it and then save it and inside of it is all this stuff it's your dictionary your pronouns sent and your vocabulary and uh, now we're going to my terminal and let's minimize this and now if we go to, let's move it from downloads because right now I don't have anything I only have this one so I just go move from downloads and the name of the file is tar and then bring it here and drop it here and there it is and now I use gun zip to open it and now I use tar to extract it and there it is the dictionary, the LM, the log pronouns and the send just like I show you so now we need Sphinx space uh, to work with this in order to build the language model so now in order to do that I created cheat sheet here to, rem to remember how to do it so let's do let's split this one vertical and now let's Let's clone it. This is first of all you need to let's do this one. These are the dependencies that you need. And they're paste. And let's it's gonna install GCC, auto make, auto tools, lib tool, bison, swig for C and C Python development and lip pulse and let's do one more let's do lip sound lip sound oh it's liba sound liba sound two and then dev and then your password is odroid and i didn't enter it right so it's odroid because we're using the odroid and now it's going to tell me that I have all of them. So, but in your case, it's going to take a little bit and you're going to download all of them. Now that you have them, now we can go here and continue. Uh, we already made the recognition speech, uh, speech recognition uh, uh, folder. So now all we need to do is clone this one, clone from Sphinx space. Ooh. I don't have the whole thing so that's fine so we're gonna go to our being that we're using Odroid right on it's nice and easy to go back and forth things uh, oh come on so you just need to go to the gate GitHub and this that one right there and now I just need to clone it so it's that one CM, CMU Sphinx Sphinx space copy copy and now bring back my terminal paste and now add git clone to it and then hit enter it's going to clone this thing space done and there it is now I'm gonna go into spin base and now I'm going to use auto tools to auto generate and make sure that the M4, the lib tool, all of that stuff, the AC files are all created and working properly. 
the config in the configure and now we're ready to create a bunch of stuff that wasn't there before now that we configure to make sure everything is properly and before we do make So it's creating them, and now we're ready to do make. I don't want to. So it's going to take a little bit to do the make. I'm going to stop the video here so you don't have to wait. Welcome back. As you can see, it uh, it made everything, and now I'm going to do sudo make install and it's going to install it uh, on the outroid and now we're good so now as you can see you have uh, all of these files here um, you have your m4 you have your source file you got your swig let's check into the src and there you have your libs thing space and all of this stuff you, we're going to be working with uh, in, in other tutorials. But for now, you know that you are good because if you have this and it looks like that, you, you're good, especially this guy right there. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do packet sphinx and it's very similar to this one so uh, but we will do that in the next tutorial and we'll test it right away so you'll be we'll be running uh, text in the next tutorial so this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time with another tutorial take care